Of course, a frustrating summer for France overall, that embarrassment against Switzerland in the Euros. Jules, obviously this is nowhere near uh, going to undo that disappointment, but it is a turn in the right direction, isn't it? Exactly, and that's all, that's all they wanted, that's what Deschamps wanted. We mentioned it in our preview of the semi-final where we said how what a big week this was because usually, as, as Craig talked about earlier, usually this is meaningless games, either qualifiers against rubbish teams or friendlies. Now Deschamps had two big games to be able to turn things around because before that he'd been poor at the Euros, even before the Euros, since the Euros, apart from the Finland win last month, but the race was bad. So this was a golden opportunity for them to, to go back onto the right path for the World Cup in 14 months, and they did that so well. I mean, tonight it's vintage 28 in France, 36% of the ball, controlling the game, managing the oppositions with the ball pretty well, even if they let them the ball, and then going offensive transition so quick, so good, the Teo Hernandez one, of course, then the two goals, but it almost cost them eventually in the end, and even when they, they considered first, but certainly it looked very much more like the France from 2018, then the France from the Euros in 2021. Tell me, what, tell, tell me why it was an embarrassment against Switzerland. Well, because you're 3-1 three, three, up with 10 minutes to go. Well, that's not, well, that's, not an, that's not an embarrassment. Of course that's it just, is, Craig. Just, you're 3-1 up, it's you're not. the best team in the world, and you've got 10 Listen, minutes to go. That's football, it can happen. It doesn't turn into an embarrassment. No, I mean, it's an embarrassment because their attitude was no. embarrassing. They thought it had done and dusted. They thought they'd won it. They thought they were through oh, to the you're next an round. Expert, you're an attitude expert now. Very much so. Working with you well. every day, I'm good. I right. know bad attitudes. <laughs> I mean, all of a sudden, these, it's a headline, it's an embarrassment. That's I mean, it. these things happen, it's poor. Yes. Jules, Switzerland, was it an embarrassment? You're French. Yeah. <laughs> Switzerland are not that bad, I say. <laughs> embarrassment is... Embarrassment might be the wrong word. I see what you mean, and yeah. it's, it's, it's not good. And I think they all. But embarrassment is it considering beep, that beep, second half beep, that they put beep, in that beep, game. Beep, 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 beep. That reverse I can hey, hear hey, that. No, I stick with embarrassment. <laughs> I very much. I, I, I'm no. from, sorry for my anti Switzerland ways. Uh, Stevie, what of course has improved since 2018, if you take a look at that two pronged attack now of Benzema and Mbappe that works so well, mm. how much does that play into? Benzema's goal in the fact defenders are concerned about Mbappe Huge. as well. Huge. Listen, if you uh, again as a defender, and a good example would be a two a two a two v one situation. I'm I'm going to make sure I'm going to try and get the ball to the guy who I think isn't going to score. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you're playing against Mbappe and Benzema and Griezmann, it's kind of choose your poison, and actually. Let's be honest, that, if, if you'd stuck that three on the Spain team today, this would have been a one-sided affair. Right. The fact is, is that Spain as a team plays some fantastic football. There's no question, when it comes to getting from the back to the middle to the front, they are absolutely superb. And right now, I'm not sure there's a better team at doing that. Unfortunately, they, they, they can't put the ball in the back of the net and use that domination and the, and the category that counts the most is goals. Because that's... The only reason this team, this French side won this is because they've got a bit better, more ability up front. Spain showed in the semi that at times they can put the ball in the back of the net and, and capitalise on that dominance. But the fact is we can't rely on the front three that they have. You can't. They had opportunities wait, wait. today to win the game and they didn't take them. And then you've got Benzema and Mbappe and the other team who all of a sudden get a sniff of the goal and it's in the back of the net. That's the, the, that's the truth and the difference. I feel, I feel like Gab here chanting away in the background. <laughs> uh, I, I know that's what he does. But I mean, let, I'm playing devil's advocate here tonight with you, uh, Dan, because tell, tell me what Mbappe had to do with Benzema uh, whipping it in the top corner. Well, because you're preoccupied, aren't you, as a defender? Aren't you worried about one, so you're not closing in oh, on the right. other? Uh, that's fine, but tell me, Sam, is Kylian Mbappe playing for Real Madrid? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing Karim Benzema do that a lot at the moment, whether Mbappe's in the team or not. I wasn't, so, I wasn't undermining Benzema. I was just using it to prove a point. What's wrong with you today? Well, I'm, 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 well, I'm, I'm, I'm unproving your point that, that Karim Benzema hasn't got Kylian Mbappe at Real Madrid. And yes. he's still managing to do that. So it's not, it's not about what Zimbabwe doing for Karim Benzema. It's what Karim Benzema is doing for himself. 
Uh, Jules, right. it's, it's quite simple. Yes. Uh, Jules, sticking with Benzema, can you just, just describe the temperature regarding the French fans of the Real Madrid striker and how it's changed over the last, what, 18 months? Karim the Dream. <laughs> um, it's, you know why I'm cross? I'm cross because I wonder what would have happened if he'd never been dropped by Deschamps. And okay, maybe Deschamps felt he had to, and then he felt he could not call him back earlier because of everything. And we're not going to go back to the story of you know the sex tape and Valbuena and the tag on the on the house on the wall, the racism stuff, all of that. It's not for now. But I'm cross because I'm not sure what would have happened to this France team had Benzema been there in the last six years, or all of it. And, and when you see him play like this, when you see the understanding with Mbappé, when you see what he brings in terms of even just composure to this team and experience and leadership and the way he's done it. And, and back home, everybody is, is on the Benzema wagon now, Ben wagon, right. when, when, when that didn't happen in, in the five years before the Euros. So I think it's a shame we, we can't go back into the past and we, we, we certainly not know what would have happened had Benzema not being dropped ever by Deschamps. But certainly when you see him back now, when he's going to turn 34 at the end of December, you think like, oh, wow, OK, he's taking this team to a, to a different level in a way. And he's taking his own game to a different level, too. Uh, well, he was, at the, he, was at the Euros in the, he was at the Euros in 2021, was, was he not? And, and it came apart from them in that uh, very famous uh, embarrassment, as Dan said, against, against Switzerland. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not, I mean, I don't, I don't remember the French public purring over him. Uh, after after the exit to Switzerland, so I mean this is this is swinging in roundabouts here. That this this whole uh, sort of love in and love out story, no? You can take I mean, it, yeah, Jules. You're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> four, yeah, yeah, four goals at the Euros, uh, including two in that embarrassing defeat against uh, the Swiss. But yeah. it, it's it's just that if you add a world-class player like him to a, a World Cup winning team, and yes, of course, we had some issues at the Euros, and you could see tonight that maybe some of those issues have been resolved or are on their way to being resolved. But if you add Karim Benzema in this kind of form to, to this team, then, then certainly it's a, it's a completely different board game, even, even to that team that won the World Cup. And I just think that, that Deschamps, again, did the right thing by calling him back. I'm, 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 just, I'm just a bit disappointed it was not earlier, but certainly he's, he's definitely added so much more to this team. It's, it's pretty, pretty remarkable in the space of six months. Uh, this, is classic, this is classic France, is it not? I mean, I hope we're just dropping any advertisements here or whatever we're doing, because this is classic France, is it not? They've just won the Nations League. <laughs> what are we which advertising? Is sort of, which, is, which, is, which is down there, I don't know, some commercials or whatever. You know, we, 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 the France have just won the Nations League, right? And all of a sudden, everything's rosy again. Stevie mentioned that if the, if the, if the Spanish had anything that. about them up front... I didn't say if that. The Spanish had, if the Spanish had anything about them up front, right? They would have won this game, right? But they didn't. And that allowed uh, France didn't. back into it. So, that, you know, the French only six months ago, the parents were arguing and fighting. <laughs> he didn't want to take a penalty. Or he should have took a penalty. Or he should have done this. Or he should have done that. Or we shouldn't have brought Benzema back. Now they won the Nations League. And all of a sudden, the whole garden is just full of roses again. So amazing, <laughs> amazing turnaround. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.